when you are using the three-dimensional shapes, you probably want to put them on a platform. I'm going to show you how to make one of these. You simply go into your library and go into the building. And there are a number of ways you could use them because you could have any shape as your base. You can see all these different options. I chose this one. And I'm going to make it, it looks like I made it a little bigger. And then I simply put a flat surface on the top. Again, you could use a number of shapes. I used a square or cube and made it as flat as possible. You could use the cylinder and make it flat and you would have a round uh, surface to put your display on. I'm going to use the lifting button. I'm going to put this down because I'm not using it right now. And remember, this is where we might need to do some turning and adjusting because it looks like we're getting it right over. Look at that. Now I know it's right over. I can bring it down. And now I can create the shape I want which is really just a platform. I'm just creating a platform that looks a little too thick. And I'm gonna center it, okay. So when I have it the way I like it, and I've checked it from all directions to make sure it's really what I think it is, I'm going to use my grouping technique going to hold shift and click on both of them. And then I'm going to right click and choose group. And now they should be one. I'm also now going to right click and choose a color. Remember, you don't wanna to get too wild with your textures and crazy with your colors. You want them to not distract from what you have. Because I have a texture on my walls and a texture on my floors, I'm going to keep this simple and just choose a color. It is okay to choose colors. My initial ones I chose gray because I wanted them to be kind of simple. Tan and other colors work well. You might, if you have light colors or if you want to complement the colors of your display, you could choose other colors. Now, once you make one, don't use it in your display. Duplicate it. So when I right click on it, I'm going to choose duplicate. This way I can easily make as many copies as I need and use them in my displays.